Parsley Bay is a natural inlet located on the southern side of Sydney Harbour. The bay opens to the north-northwest. The opening is protected by a shark net that does not hinder water movement and still allows small marine life to swim into the bay. At the other end of the bay is a shallow beach leading onto manicured grass and a reserve where native vegetation has been successfully replanted. It is a popular recreational area for many activities including swimming in the enclosure and fishing off the wharf and nearby rocks. Geologically, the bay was fully formed by the harbour waters cutting into the surrounding Hawkesbury sandstone, leaving a narrow U-shaped ridge around the quiet inlet. A stream flows into the bay at the beach end, but it is unlikely there is a permanent natural water source on the Vaucluse Ridge behind the beach, especially one strong enough to form the bay. On the eastern side of the bay, a walkway follows the naturally formed contours around, while on the western side, the rocks still meet the waters as they always did. Vegetation has found footholds in the rocks on both sides of the bay. The ridges were joined by a suspension bridge in 1910, which still stands, making the bay very accessible from a number of surrounding roads. The rocky sides of the bay continue into the water, becoming a home for shellfish and seaweed. However, the bottom of the bay is predominantly sandy, with areas of seagrass, and kelp. When looking at what is underwater, if a visitor does not wade in from the beach, the best place to enter is from the stairs near the net, which have become a home for sea life. The shark net is almost an ecosystem in itself, in the way that seaweed and other marine life have colonised it creating an unnatural mid-water environment that supports a lot of sea life, most famously seahorses. Although a number of different harbour marine species are around, such as this fan belly leather jacket. The rock ledges are also great places for finding marine life, especially spiny sea urchins, while on the rocks in the intertidal zone are Sydney rock oysters and red rock crabs. Away from the rocks and weed, free swimming fish can also be seen, while on the sandy bottom stingrays are very common. The interesting wildlife does not end at the water's edge. The most famous land animal was a Parsley Bay are the eastern water dragons that regularly use the paths to sun themselves. Parsley Bay is a wonderful treasure where people can easily see marine and associated life in a safe environment. The bay is worth a visit and will be hard to leave once you have experienced it.